got a common sense. Hey, Mirza. I go like, yo, what? He's like, hey, make a video on time stretch, man. I go like, you know what, mate? You got it. Next video. Without realizing, I just committed to this guy to make a video for him. And making him wait would be wicked. You know what? Communism 101. This is not my decision. This is ours. So, I hope you're ready for one hour long video because this is going to be a time. No, I'm not going to say it. Stretch. Tom stretch. It was one of those that you know sounded better in my head. Yeah, we can get pasta. We could... did I just what? Did I just say we can pasta? Mamma mia! What is along with me? Then shut up, Mirza. So before I start talking about time stretch, I bet we got bigger fishes to catch, and I'm talking about tempo detection. We live on the internet, sample city, you know, and it's filled with a bunch of idiots. I'm not even kidding. People who don't know how to document or label their file, and on the other side of the fence, who people might be writing. F minus 69 BPM, ha ha ha! Mate, you're not funny, you're not funny. And that's not 69 BPM. I went out, mate, and it didn't take me long before I came across this sample, but I don't know the BPM side time signature or its root note. Now, uh, let's, let's try, let's hear it out first, right? Okay, fine. So, before you do anything, we gotta change the time stretch algorithm to Elastic Pro. Which is the best tracks it's got to offer, so we use it, right? Uh, besides that, there's a wrench icon, you can preserve format. The preserve format is actually decent if you want to, you know, like, preserve format for your vocals or something. It can be done, so that's good. Let me lock that, and the easiest or the laziest way to do this bullshit, let me remove the loop, is by just option clicking and time stretching it. Beep, 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 beep. And that's actually, we are, we are changing the speed of the clip, we can do it the same from bottom here or we can uh, do a quick options or oh, I keep forgetting what they call this and uh, do this from here so we got three options on how to do that you're gonna be disappointed mate it's never gonna work it it is not that good so let's let's forget about this as of now and we come back to it second option let's go on loop properties under beat points we can actually get auto detect tempo click on that what does traction take let's see it drinks 92.95 bpm it's mostly whatever Let's see. No, no, it's it it wants to be there, but it's not. And honestly, it's a hit or miss with its auto detection. Option three. This is actually quite good. It works. I would say ninety percent of the time. It's actually quite awesome. So first, we gotta know the time signature of the track. Most tracks are made on four on four. That's what we got over here. That's the time signature. It's four four. Under that is triplets. Triplets, very good. So, uh, if you don't know, if you have a metronome, you can actually click or you can count it. So let's count and see what's the time signature of this. Oh wait, let me put out that. That was confusing. Put off your click, okay? When you're counting your time signature. Okay, perfect. It's 4x4. Four four. That's what we require because that's the easiest to figure out. So, the way we do it, I come over here and I get a calculator because I'm a defective Asian and I have no clue how to do math. Here's how the 4x4 four four time signature works. Each bar has 4 beats. We can actually confirm that by zooming in and we got bar 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3. And it goes on, right? And the way we structure our beat, we actually follow the same thing. So, we'll go 1 to 4 or 4 to 8 and it goes on. So we can uh, check the end of our loop, right? And we can see it's around 15. But 15 isn't divisible by 4. So if I do 15 divided by 4, we get 3.75, not divisible. So we go to the closest one that's divisible by 4, which is 16 over here. And if we check, uh, if we do 16 divided by 4, we get, we, oh, God damn it. What? We get 16 divided by 4 is 1. I don't know why that damn work. So, uh, whatever. I, I, I'm not good at math. I'll be honest with you. But I know 16 is divis uh, div uh, div uh, 4 1's a 4, 4 2's a 8, 12, 16. 4 4 is a 16. Awesome. The way we do it, we actually just do 16 into 4 and we get 64, right? So, all I have to do is come over here, tempo stretch, and put the beats to 64, all right? Once we do that, we should actually time stretch us to fit on the 16 bars. And now this should sound correct, I hope. Uh, let's cross my fingers. Ooh, you know what? That works. Let me reduce this even more. I hope y'all can hear that.
That's perfect. That's perfect. Come on. And here's the thing. This actually works for most clips. So let's try with another one. What do I know? There's another Looperman clip I have. Let's go on jazz because I'm feeling jazzy today. Ooh. Okay, here's the thing. I know the BPM of this. It's 80, right? So let's drop it and see if it actually works. Uh, let's do that. Hit P. Uh, again, first, get to know the time signature. So we go... Click off. Okay, that's a 4 4. We get, get it. So now again, we have to see what is divisible by 4 the closest. So we can either go back because this is exactly in the center. Wow. So we can either go back or we can go front, depending. So let's actually try both. Uh, let's try actually going front first. So I'll have to do, oh wait, no, I have to do 9 into 4, that is 36. So I come here, I do 36 auto tempo, and we, oh wait, no, I have to do 8. What an idiot. 8 into 4 it's 32 not 36 so I do 32 and now this should be it so let's see if it sinks click on it fits it's actually perfect and let's actually try it on 4 as well so, and the easier way to do that is you can go on the beat points and half the tempo right okay this thing I know the BPM of this it's 80 right so if you do that, we can actually see we drop down to a 5 bar, or the 4 bar, sorry. Yeah, that works, that actually works, which is awesome. So, uh, something about auto pitch is, well, I'm not pitch perfect. So if you want to get that, you can actually get this uh, auto key thing, make jiggy, and just play it. And let's hope it finds something. Did it find? Mm. It's an A minor, so we can actually just come over here, auto pitch, and put a root to and a, a minor, right? So that's probably how it's got to sound in that actuality. And I actually like it on a double tempo. You know, I want to try it again just for the funsies. Do I have anything else? Uh, loops. That, that sounds hand-picked, mate. That's going to be difficult. Uh, okay, so let's give this one a shot. Let me try this one. It's actually pretty close, which is good. Uh, the way you can save these is you can actually do add to library and just uh, name it, add a tag, add a custom tag, and save it. It actually gets saved uh, in the search. You can come over here and you can like find it from there, right? So the last method that works 99% of the time, just click over here and you can click your tempo in. Like, you know, just hear your track and click it. It works, it works surprisingly well if you got a year for it. Works like... 80% for me, so you know, it's 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 a good it's a good thing to know just and now let's talk about actual warp timing Right because I guess that's what he was asking for. I, I don't really know, but there's not much to it It's all the same in all doors warp time and you can actually just click and move stuff around or Just right click and delete all or just right click and delete one You can actually just click up top and snap you can turn and turn off snap to grid or change Those things right, but I actually never use this interface for warp timing, I mostly use uh, effect and warp time from here. But as you can see, if you use the clip effect, you actually get uh, this warning sign over here. Just because we're using a clip effect and the loop properties. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you want to do that. But it's, it's yet again the same thing. Click, drag, click, drag. You can actually drag the in and out points for some reason as well. And yeah, just delete all you're back to its original position. As we can see, if I remove the clip effect, the warning sign is gone. And if I use the time warp thing from over here, we never get the warning sign. So I hope this is what you were looking for. And if not, I, I can understand me. I'm on a stage, motherfucker, I'm up with the wage Hold up, now I'm stuck in the cage I'm on my mind now, that means, doesn't mean that I'm fine now Take a look at my pockets, I lost my time now That means no food and no dine out Fuck, I'm a sign out Thank <laughs> you.